Uh, how long is that going to be? That, that total length there? 120. 120. That's not bad, is it? Mm -hmm. And that is 24, isn't it? Can we take this detail line so it comes around and does something here? I quite like the idea of this little triangular button which triggers up and then some yeah. indication in the moulding of where it actually moves. Yeah. I can hack it. You can cope with that. I can hack it. Yeah, that's a possibility. I, I think we'd be able to clip it together. Let's keep this moulding on the bottom there. Uh, is that going to be a completely flat, flat section here? Or is it like that? Or is it going to come up at an angle like that? That would be quite nice if it complements this angle. Well, it goes up there. Yeah, wh or whether it just complements that sort of angle in some way or other, I don't know. Actually, that is quite nice. That's unusual. I don't like it um, square to the length. No. Uh, I quite like that. I mm -hmm. quite like that. That's quite nice around there. Mm, good for that. I think it might be interesting to see it. Uh, so you, actually, you do have some sort of base upon which to rest. What the, the power of that is. Yeah, I suppose it depends. It, runs at as well. it depends very much upon how many jobs the guy's going to do as to how long it's going to last. But I would think for the most part. Uh, and if it's a plumber, it's not going to be for any great length of time, is it? Only a small number of jobs at any given time. Sealing up a bath, uh, putting in a shower. We need to uh, work out the. Aspects. We need to work out the rate at which uh, people are going to want this stuff to pump out. Yeah. And um, we're talking about. What rate's that, that little motor going to be? Twelve volt. Um. I reckon it will be about 12 volt. Um, what we what we really need is the motor and the battery pack from the smallest cordless drill, yeah, yeah. and that is going to be more than adequate. Um, I would imagine it should be fairly cheap because there's been quite a lot of development there, mm -hmm. and there, there should be plenty of things available. We need to work out the volume of this stuff we need to pump out, mm -hmm. and then we can work out the gearing of our um, pinion. So, uh, how many gears are we going to have? I'll keep it to a bare minimum, really. Well, um, we had the the motor, one gear, um, then our cog and our plunger. Mm -hmm. So basically, one gear. That should be right, shouldn't it? Mm. Very straightforward, and probably diecast type of things. Oh, yeah. The only problem is our mould is going that way. And our mm. pins are all running in the same direction. Uh, yeah, but they can be half pins, can't they? I mean, it could be quite a simple mould which has something in like that in it. it? Yeah, but we have to put pins in, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, it would be nicer if they were little things like that on the sides of the moulding. We can't do that. So we can't do that. Go for that one. And uh, each of those will have a stop in moulded in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else we need to do? Uh, uh, we obviously got to uh, conform to British standards on everything. Mm -hmm. Or if we're sticking to 12 volts, we'd, uh, uh, we're not quite so limited. We've got to uh, make sure that is thick enough. And uh, <coughs> I, I was wondering whether it might do, do well to have some ribs along on the outside just to strengthen it up. I don't know how well we could do that. Not necessarily that way, but going the other way, longitudinally. Uh, way. We could put them like that, I suppose. On the other hand, I mean, you could easily... It gives you a nice bit of friction as well, wherever yeah. you hold it. That's true. But I mean, you could easily mould a rib in which went lengthwise, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't Actually, need to be a sharp rib like that. It can be quite a... just a smooth bobble, almost. I think it might be worthwhile putting ribs in anyway, towards the end, for you mm -hmm. to grip onto. Yeah. So you can grip it wherever you like. Well, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, obviously we've got all the uh, the internal ribbing and to work out after we've found our motor. And battery.